And, well, I know I look more like Uncle Fester than I do Herman, but you gotta, gotta have some leeway. Anyway, this has been one of the most requested, anticipated versus crossovers. It's the Adams Family take on the Monsters. Now, the Monsters first film. The Adams Family first film, which got a great sequel. And it was followed up with a made for TV somewhat sequel, but sort of a different story set up for a new TV series, which was short lived. And then there's like, there's been more Adams Family relaunches than there has been the monsters. Of course, you've got the infamous Rob Zombie monsters. Uh, but no. Revival, no new monsters, no cartoon, but let's just go with the original and then we'll take on the classics. So, both series came out mid 60s, both in black and white, both had two seasons, and Interestingly enough, the Monsters House and the Adams Family House were more or less on the same street. You see a number of videos of shooting locations and you're there at the Universal Black Block and surely there it is. The Monsters House and then the Adams Family House. These two are so similar. So much the same. A crossover would have been fantastic. And you do a little digging, you will find out that there was meant to be some sort of a crossover at one time. A very little, little detail, but it makes sense. You had Lily Monster and you have Morticia. Two macabre, gorgeous ladies who lived a life on the dark side and had their romantic, crazy but fun hubby, Herman Gomez. Now, the Munsters had one child, the cute little werewolf boy. So it reminds me of uh, a certain werewolf. In this crazy house. And, um, yeah. But I don't have the macabre bride. So, as I pushed forward, yeah, there was apparently sometime meant to be a Monsters and Adams Family crossover. They were gonna have like a barbecue and um yeah like cousin it was gonna get with Marilyn like they were gonna go on a date because you know she was the niece and he was the cousin and yeah I remember reading or hearing about it somewhere on the internet it's out there somewhere because everything's on the internet no, that's not true. But everything's true on the internet. No. I told you this series will get crazy. Not this little series, but the whole damn season. So yeah, what I remember from reading about this crossover was they meet, uh, I think... It was either Lily and Morticia met at the shops or Gomez and Herman met when they were getting the mail. It was like meant to be a two-part 
they come over to each other's house. They'd have like a dinner. They'd have a barbecue. They'd talk. There'd be some macabre jokes and laughs. And then it'd end on a cliffhanger like, oh, I wonder if we'll see them again. Maybe. Something like that. But it didn't happen because both series were cancelled. You know, they went head to head. In the 90s, we had two other similar dark contemporary shows. Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark? Of course, there was reruns of the monsters and Adam's family in the 90s. And yeah, we got the classic Adam's family movies. And yeah, we got the classic monsters movie. But the, the original series, yeah, you know, the spooky, quirky nature, the dark comedy humor, the horror visuals, the gags, the sets, the, the amazing themes, like, I'd say more people know and quote the Adams Family theme because it's easy, da 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 da. And the monsters, like, I know some monsters, but not as much as I do the Adams. But, yeah, you've got these amazing dimensional characters. They're fun. You know, those... There's many stories about what happened on set after shooting and whatnot. Um... And yeah, I'm pretty sure there was another Monsters film. Uh, if there wasn't, Mandela Effect. So, yeah, like the Monsters, as you know, were brought back with the Rob Zombies film. Um, but yeah, no revamp of the series. Like, it could happen because Wednesday did so well. They might try the Monsters again, but... I don't know, but those two original TV series, head to head, the Adams Family were kicking it. They started way back with comics, but then they got their live action, and then the Monsters came along. People were more headed to the Monsters, then the Adamses got canned, and then people sort of lost interest with the Monsters. But before the live action Morticia, we had Vampire, 50s icon. She starred in Edward's Plan 9 from Outer Space. Then in the 80s, you got Elvira. So, the greatest of all time, Makar. Spooky ladies. Vampire. Morticia. Lily. And Elvira. You know, Elvira had her movies. Vampire was in movies. She tried to sue because of similarities. And yeah, there was some. What not. Who said did what. With Matisha and, and Lily, but those four ladies, fantastic. All great, and then yeah, you know, Gomez, Herman. Um, Elvira and Vampire didn't really have their their guy. But yeah, just you know, all the crazy critters and the antics that went on with these shows and in the movies as well. Fun times, and it's been great talking about them. Of course, all of the information will be on the screen as you see. No, not that. Uh, I guess I'll scare you later. <laughs>